Hey what's going on guys, it is Jacob and welcome back to some more GTA 6 concepts and today we're going to be discussing some wildlife because of a comment we received in last video from Zombie Legs Gaming and he said, I'm kind of a goober and have weird input but this is a good idea. In addition, I would love to see great white shark attacks and surfing. So this got me thinking of how wildlife and different animal attacks could work in GTA 6. And maybe in a future video we can talk about surfing as maybe some side activities you could do in single player or multiplayer. So let me know. And of course, uh, these comments do mean a lot to this series. So all your input can be made into videos. You guys all have really great ideas and I would love to hear them. So be sure to drop a like and subscribe as well as comment down below some other ideas you guys would like to hear. Some people probably don't even know this, but there are actually sharks in GTA 5, but they're only in single player and you can only find them out in the deep, deep oceans. And there is actually an achievement or trophy that you can get from getting killed by a shark in single player. Not a lot of people know that because there's nothing to do out in the oceans of GTA 5. Despite there being a ton of detail and a lot of water in GTA 5, there's almost nothing we do out there other than a handful of yacht missions. Maybe go here and pick up some cargo from a few boats, that sort of thing. But that's about it from really anything that comes from the ocean in GTA 5. So I and probably many of you guys watching would love to see GTA 6's body of water, oceans, lakes, different creeks and rivers and that sort of thing actually be used in the game whether it be for getting around the map transportation wise doing some supply runs or getting attacked by alligators because like we already know this game is based in florida so if you're in the everglades and you're driving around in the swamps you could probably get attacked by some alligators one of the most perfect examples of this already is out there and it is already a rockstar game red dead 2 when you're riding through the swamps it is actually like a major risk and you actually have to keep a lookout for when you're riding over alligators and that sort of thing because your horse can get scared buck you off and it can become a problem when you're moving around the swamps and driving around in canoes or boats in through the swamps can also be a huge risk because you can get attacked by gators so for me personally, I don't think wildlife is going to be anything crazy like Red Dead 2 because that's what the world was like back then and it went really, really well with Red Dead 2's atmosphere, time period, and that sort of thing. But I think it's going to be more like GTA 5 where if you're in the inner city, you can see some rats cruising around, some cats, some dogs, and some pets and that sort of thing. Maybe if you're riding through the countryside or if there's going to be mountains in GTA 6, you can see a couple mountain lions or alligators or squirrels. And But I would love to see, on top of natural disasters that I discussed in the last video, of course, if you missed it, go check it out down below. I think I'm going to make this entire series into a playlist that I will always leave in the description of these videos in case you want to see any past or future episodes. I would love to sprinkle in some natural animal attacks, whether it be out on the ocean, getting attacked by a shark, or, you know, in the Everglades, getting attacked by an alligator. I think that'd be a lot of fun to add to the game, but hopefully they add animals to multiplayer. I think it will definitely be a thing in multiplayer because of how, how advanced our technology is and how the next-gen consoles and PCs are souped up nowadays. I think it will definitely be possible in online, but I also don't want animals to be completely useless like they were in GTA 5 where one or two could attack you and there was no reason to kill them unless they were actually going to attack you. I think I would like to see a dumbed down sort of hunting mini game or side activity that you could do to kill some animals and be able to sell or put into a business that sort of thing. Another topic that we could discuss easily on the topic of animals and attacks is definitely being able to keep some pets. I think in single player it could easily be done. You could have a dog roam around your apartment or house that you and Jason Lucia will be living in and just have it roam around the house be kind of purely cosmetic. You can go up and interact with it feed it different foods, maybe walk around with it with Chop, have it uh, ride along in your car. And I really hope that we get some animals and pets in online too because I would love to be able to flex my new dog or a cat to my friends that I have in my like super sweet penthouse obviously in Grand Theft Auto 6 Online. I think that'd be awesome. I doubt doing something like a robbery with your pet cat or your pet frog or something would be possible. 
I feel like if something were to happen, like a crime or some shooting started going on, that your animal would flee back to your property. Maybe pets in GTA 6 Online could work like cars do now in GTA Online, where if they get injured or lost or something because your friend decided to run them over, they could have some sort of insurance policy. And maybe something like cats or frogs or parrots or something for example wouldn't be able to do crimes with you and could flee back to your property like i mentioned before but you could get something like attack dogs that are specifically able to help you and do your crimes where like maybe they could attack enemies or cops when you're trying to run away or try to do a mission and if we're really going all out here with animals maybe we could hire ourselves like a trainer like the people you'd see at SeaWorld. and if you had a property maybe you could buy a salt water pool for a shark or a whale or something to live in i think that would be the coolest thing to be able to walk into an apartment or a penthouse or some sort of property maybe on the shore of the ocean and be able to flex that you have a shark in your living room in like some massive tank aquarium sort of thing and have your own trainer be able to like kind of train them and make them do tricks or something like that i think that could be really really cool I can say pretty confidently that animals are going to be a thing in GTA 6 Online, whether or not we're going to be able to keep them as pets, companions, attack dogs, that sort of thing, we still have no clue. But that's the whole point of the series, talk about some concepts and ideas that could work in GTA 6 and maybe how they could work. I don't know, it just gets me really excited for the game and we're still probably years and years away, but I really like talking about the game and what it could very well be. And that's why I made the series in the first place. And your input, of course, is also very, very important. I would love to hear what you guys have to say down below. Of course, this video was inspired from a comment, so don't shy away. There's no bad responses whatsoever. Thanks again guys for watching, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.